no, no. I cannot have guests, lowlanders, even those who don't hail from the hold. Who are you, and why are you out here? If I tell you, will you leave me be? There's a first time for everything. I am Sigrid Goldsdotten, Augur's apprentice. I exiled myself from Stonebear Hold. You exiled yourself? Aye, I did. And my tongue will say no more on that. I met a mage in the woods, who said she used to be an auger's apprentice. Sigrid Goldstotten. She left the hold when I told her she must release her teacher. Aren't you her teacher? She might have heeded me if I were. <laughs> or perhaps not. It's time the spirit in her was free. She's possessed. An abomination. Every mage in the hold is made one with the gods, until they're strong enough. I thought Sigrid strong enough. Exile was her own motion. Why did Sigrid go into exile? Sigrid built an altar by the shore for her rite of thanksgiving. A ritual to part her from her teacher. Sigrid claims her offering was spurned by the gods. The spirit remains with her, which is taken to exile. I should be off. Farewell. Is good. Fine work. This is the place the Augur said that mage Sigrid tried and failed to release her spirit. It looks like the tools for her ritual are still here. Scorch marks, left by some kind of interrupted spell. Perhaps the ritual was never completed. down here. A fight? No, I see tracks. An animal slept here for the night. Probably not important then. returned the auger told me why you're here that that shatter jay what business is it of his to tell that to a lowlander about the ritual you're performing sigrid i had to burn a proper offering then let my guiding spirit free i made the offering the gods did not accept i found a bird and incense by the altar they weren't burnt at all. I... I brought more than I needed. When I fled, I left everything. You would have needed to take the lyrium at the start of the ritual, not the end. Aye. And so? The vial I found was full. Do you accuse me, stranger? I'd just like to help another mage, if you need it. Will you understand? I hear lowlander mages see the gods differently. I made no offering. I prepared. I began the spell to release the spirit here with me. And? I could 
not do it. I have no close companions in the hold, no kin. I cannot lose my only friend. Your friends with this spirit. It has taught me with patience and kindness since I was a child. Frightened of the fire I could suddenly call down. It loves you too. It will stay if you want it. I know. But I was oath sworn to release it when the time came. I do not want to lose the one who loves me. It would be hard to let go of such a unique friendship. It is. Yet I swore an oath. I think the Augur knew. All this time, he knew I never cast the ritual. It is not right to stay in pity. I will confess to him. The Inquisition could use a mage with a unique perspective. You and your spirit certainly qualify. You want me to pledge my staff to your Inquisition? Even bound to a spirit? Your people consider it a gift. I'm sure you can handle yourself. It's good to have a home where you can feel yourself. It must be punishment from the gods to serve a lowlander for my oath-breaking. It fits my shame. I'll find your camps and join you. So, Sigrid Goldstotten will come out of exile to join your Inquisition. Do you object? It would be good for Sigrid to see what lies beyond the hold, under the Inquisition's protection. The Lowlands treat mages differently than the other. I'd like to ask something. Then ask. You let spirits possess your mages on purpose. What better teacher than one woven from magic? The spirits in the hold have helped us in this way for hundreds of years. Once a mage masters their powers, their teacher departs, duty ended. Unless the mage is weak. What happens to these weak mages? Their teachers stay with them, and the other gods watch them both, so neither soul turns sick. If one does sicken, or the mage stands in risk of harming the hold, one day, they do not wake in their bed. It is very sad. It is what must be done. It is kinder than what happens in many mage circles. Our guests are...